AccuQuilters. Welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks so much for joining us today. Okay, we're going to talk about the orange pill dye. So orange, you're glad it's Wednesday. <laughs> Leslie, she gave us that little fun little pun. Christina's in the house. How are you, my friend? I'm good, considering good. how rainy and cold it is outside again. I know, but it was gorgeous this weekend, it was. right? And we yes. had the day off. And you didn't come help me clean my garage, but you did do yard work. I did. We had 11 bags of yard waste and an entire bin full and... Ugh. And you met the neighbor's dogs. Yes, they uh, broke through the fence and were in our backyard yesterday while I was in the middle of working. Yay! It was a good time. There were these giant 70-pound fluffy dogs just doing laps. <laughs> Okay. I love it. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, you have a little treat I by do. you. Okay, you want to hold that up so yes. we can see? And I won't drop okay, them. Okay, now listen. One of you who are viewers, we talked about Buckeyes, mm -hmm. I don't know, a month ago or so, yes. right? And someone sent us this cute little box of Buckeyes, which we have already sampled here this oh, morning. Yeah. yeah. And we want to know who it was who sent it because the people in the... Um, Mail room, they opened it. They didn't see that it was addressed to me. So they opened it and they were like, sweet candy. And luckily yesterday I saw it when I was here. It's like, no, 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 those are ours. So whoever sent us Buckeyes, thank you. Because yes. that is our treat today. We're excited. All right. Um, where is everybody watching from? We have somebody from Scotland. We have people from Ohio. You're welcome. Okay. Don from Florida is watching. Kansas is here. I hope everybody is having a great day. Okay, we're gonna talk about the orange peel dye. So here is the picture of the day. Do you love it? Okay, orange sherbet, hands down, one of my favorite treats. <laughs> and if it's mixed with vanilla ice cream, even better. Okay, Christina, do you have an orange treat? Oh, I tend to be a child. I love Sunny D. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you <laughs> so go. that's probably my favorite. Or there you go. Um, I've had, I was at a bridal shower once and they did orange sherbet with champagne on top. So kind of like a frosty oh, mimosa. Oh, that's kind of fun. That's kind of fun. That uh, producer Joe likes orange beer. There we go. Right? All Never right. heard of it until this morning. So, <laughs> uh, okay. So the question of the day is what is your favorite orange flavored treat? All right. So it's going to be interesting to see kind of what folks say. Yes. All right. So did you love our event yesterday? It was so much fun. Quilters, we launched our new online exclusive. Oh, look, his parts are, his little beak is falling. Um, this is our <laughs> flamingo dye. Okay? Look at, I know, look. It's like, it's just life. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it is. So here, let me show you what the dye looks like. There, that'll work better. Okay? Um, so it has the flamingo body and his cute little legs and the wing and the beak and look a tiny little eye little okay eye. now <laughs> because of the overwhelming popularity of our dye you our customers pretty much broke the internet <laughs> just like that okay we're gonna call you all ralph and some of you weren't able to place your orders for the go flamingo dye bundle so since we love you and we want everybody to have flamingos for days, which is a flamboyance, right? Mm -hmm. A group of flamingos is a flamboyance. We've extended that dye bundle sale until midnight tonight. So the Go Flamingo dye bundle includes the Go Flamingo dye and a five by 10 cutting mat. This is a $70 value and it's available for the special price of $59.99. So if those of you in the contiguous US will receive free shipping on your order, and this dye bundle will ship at the end of April. So if you didn't get your flamingos yesterday, no worries, we got you covered. So today until midnight, you can get that dye bundle for $59.99. Are you excited about the flamingo dye? I am, it's so cute. It is so cute. And I think you could just like dress it up super cute. It mm -hmm. reminds me of summer. I love that, um, oh gosh, who did the, like, the camper sign Genie. yesterday? Yes, I loved that. Yes. It was just so much fun. Um, I had the flamingo dye for a while. We tested it before, mm -hmm. you know, we released it. And so Oakley cut flamingos for days. Like she cut them out of craft foam and she just had a really great time. So that's our flamingo Aww. dye. All right, quilters, if you want the chance to be featured in our intro video, feel free to share an image of your completed quilt or your project. You can send us a private message right here on Facebook or you can post it to our page. Let's take a look at some of those beautiful projects. 
All right, so this is so cute. We were all talking about how fun this is. Doesn't it look just like spring? Oh, it's so this bright. This is Debbie L. She made X's and O's. It's a free um, pattern at AccuCool.com. She used her cube to make it. Um, I just think it's so cute. And I love the little red cornerstones. It yes. kind of breaks the whole thing up. Good job, Debbie. Next up, we have a project by Paula H. So Paula did some um, embroidery, right, stitching, mm -hmm. to create barns. Aren't they fabulous? And I feel like, Paula, those must have been barns you've seen, right? Yeah. And then look, she created a barn quilt square for each one of the barns. And I love the little tractor border. It's the so little cute. tractor border's so cute. It's so beautiful. Good job, Paula. And finally, okay, this one is close to my heart. Um, this is an awesome pillow that Wendy W. made, obviously for a breast cancer um, person. And look, everybody got to write a message of encouragement and love. So quilters, you don't always have to make a quilt. Sometimes you can just make a pillow. All right, thanks for sharing with us, folks. All right, it's Wednesday. Do we have a little promo for you today? Of course we do. Today, you're gonna take 25% off Go Dyes and Cubes, okay? You're gonna use that code BLOOM25, B-L-O-O-M-2-5. So, Christina, let's do a little math. Okay. So, let's say you're gonna get some product um, today using that code BLOOM25. Um, if you threw that Flamingo Dye Bundle in your cart, yes. what would happen? you would get free shipping. Free shipping, that. The Flamingo and the Matt are already discounted, yep. right? Um, so we give you free shipping. Yes. So think about that. So okay. the Flamingo won't be extra discounted, but it'll help you qualify for free shipping. Yeah, and that's what we want. Mm -hmm. Free shipping for days. All right, today I'm gonna give away one of our orange pill dyes. Uh, share this video in your personal Facebook page for a chance to win. Morgan is gonna choose it. Christina will announce it at the end of our show. Woohoo! I know, I'm excited. I like this dye, actually. Oh, Pam, we have a note. Um, yes. Vivian Hughes, the same person that sent you those slippers, sent us the chocolate. Vivian, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm wearing my slippers. You can't see them. Um, but I did get my toes pink for flamingos yesterday. Oh, there we go. I know. Love okay. that. Thank you, Vivian. Um, the Ohio Buckeyes. Yes. The Ohio State, right? <laughs> yeah, there's a the in front of that word. Okay. I just think it's great. Here in Nebraska, we just call them Huskers. Oh, and hey, okay, huge shout out to uh, the Baylor Bears for taking the whole NCAA championship oh. and beating undefeated Gonzaga. Oh, see, I missed it all this year. Listen, I just watched the end and so it was super fun. <laughs> so thank you to the Baylor Bears. All right, today is about our orange bill dye, all right? Now, this is on a six by six dye board, so it is going to fit through all of our cutters, including our go meat. You're also going to need a six by six cutting mat, all right? And I'm gonna use my Go Big today. How come, Christina? Because you can. Because you can, yep. All right, so let's look at Christina. We're gonna talk about the project behind her. Mm -hmm. So um, what is it called, Christina? Where's Leslie when we need her? Oh, I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, it's our orange peel dye. <laughs> it's definitely on the dye page. If you go there to shop, it'll be one of the featured patterns. Right. So this quilt, all of the backgrounds are different mm -hmm. and the orange peels are the same, okay? So we're gonna talk about how to create this project. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is the background squares are the same. And you have two options to create those background squares. So first, I'm gonna talk about, an, we're gonna use our nine inch cube today. You ready? Which is on sale. Which is on sale, 25% off, how much is yes. it? So that's $55 off, so it's only 165. Wow, mm -hmm. that's awesome. And how much is the orange peel dye? The on orange sale? peel is $22 is all. So listen, get the nine inch cube, the orange peel, and the flamingo. throw in the flamingo bundle, it'll all ship free and you'll be happy. Yes. See? <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Ready? We're gonna open this up. Ta-da. Oh, it's the Go Orange Peel Zest quilt pattern. Thank you, whoever told us that. Oh, Leslie did. Thank you, Leslie. <laughs> she knows. Okay, so um, we're gonna just open up our nine inch cube today and pull out some shapes that we need. Don't forget the cubes come in five different sizes. So six inch finish block, eight, nine, 10, and 12 inch finish blocks. Each cube contain eight geometric shapes. The great thing is we've added that quarter inch seam allowance, all of that kind of, um, we've specialized the dog ears, okay? So we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. First, you're gonna pull the skinny one first. If you try to pull these, you break a fingernail. I speak from experience. 
Okay, so in the skinny one, it's gonna have a cutting mat and a pattern book, okay? And um, we have some videos on YouTube on how to use our cube, is that right, Christina? Oh yeah. Okay, good. All right, so now we're gonna pull out the eight dies. All right, so we're gonna start here with shapes one through four. So there are eight shapes. The shapes are the same in every cube. They're just different sizes. So shape number one in every single cube is a square. The cube system is based on a four patch system, okay? So four of these squares sewn together equals a nine inch finished block. So Christina, how big is our square shape number one in the nine inch cube? Oh, why do you ask me math? Uh, four and a half? Add a half, a quarter of an inch on either side. Add a quarter of an Five inch. Five inches. Five inches. Five inches. Oh yes, because then when you sew them together, see? See, I know, early. it's so early in the morning to be doing math. <laughs> um, what do we call a five inch square of fabric when we have a whole bunch of them together? A do you charm know? Charm square. Charm squares for days. So if you're thinking, oh gosh, which cube should I get today? We always say yes. <laughs> um, but this is great if you're looking to cut charm squares. We so do have I, a couple folks asking if you could use other cubes for this. No, because the orange peel it won't, fit. won't fit. Yeah. I know, it all works together, okay? Shape number two in every single cube are smaller squares, okay? So four of these sewn together equals shape number one. Okay, shape number three in every single cube, my all-time favorite shape, Christina, what is it? Half square triangles. Half square triangles. We need this die today. So the thing about half square triangles is we've cut off the dog ears. So from this point here to this point here is a perfect quarter inch seam. Mm. All right. And shape number five, or four in every cube are quarter square triangles. Again, we've cut off the dog ears from here to here is a quarter inch seam. Okay, so those are the first shape, eight shapes. Each die is numbered, each pocket is numbered. Look at this, and we even put a diagram so you know what it looked like. I know, I love that organization of the cube. That's the part that is fabulous. Yes, I love that it's self-contained too. Yes. All right, and then the next uh, four shapes, uh, shape number five is a smaller half square triangle. This is kind of the workhorse of your cube system. We've cut off the dog ears, quarter inch seam. This is the shape that helps other shapes become new shapes. Shape number six is what shape, Christina? Number six is a square on point. Yes, right? look at us knowing things yes. on a Wednesday. Yep, so it's meant to live on its tippy toes. AccuQuilt did all the math because some of us went to college and studied history, okay? Uh, so you're gonna measure the diameter and do all the math, AccuQuilt did it. You're gonna need shape number five around the edges to create a square on point or a square in a square block. And then shape number seven, because Chelsea woke up this morning and said, gosh, I hope there's a parallelogram in the cube. Um, a parallelogram, which I, Christina is the smartest person because she has never <laughs> cut shapes with a rotary cutter, right? Never. She's only ever used a cube. Um, so you're gonna add those half square triangles here to equal a rectangle. So how big is that rectangle you say? Well, shape number eight in every cube is a rectangle, okay? So those are the eight shapes in the cubes. They're the same in every shape. They're just different sizes. And all of them are based on that four patch system, okay? So don't think, oh, I'm getting the eight inch cube. It's gonna cut eight inch blocks. There's some sewing involved, okay? <laughs> so the background squares on um, Christina's quilt, you can cut them two ways. You can use shape number one, right? which it, from the nine inch cube is that five inch square. Remember quilters, cubes are the foundation of the AccuQuilt system. They have specialized dog ears, quarter inch seam allowance bit, built in, and they cut perfectly every single time. Now, you could also cut those five inch squares on a five inch strip die. Hmm, how would you do that? Let me show you, okay? So Christina, where, what are people's favorite orange treats? Oh, there's so many and <laughs> I love it. Um, let's see. Uh, Anne says orange jelly slices, the, like the candy slices. Oh, yes, yes. We talked about those, dipped um, in sugar. Cindy says she loves dark chocolate covered orange gelatin candy. Okay, we had this whole conversation about how I cannot have orange and chocolate together. you have together. to have the Terry's chocolate orange from like the UK. So good. I know. I, I just can't do it. I love them. <laughs> 
Um, let's see. Um, Jenny says orange jelly beans or orange jello. Oh, there you go. Starburst. Ooh, Starburst Anne orange says are good. she loves orange cranberry scones and Di or Diaz, excuse me, uh, loves the frozen orange push ups. <gasps> oh, push -up pops. Orange push ups. We should have had those we should. today. <laughs> Turn. I wasn't <laughs> thinking. Okay. So let's talk about our strip die. AccuQuilt has 14 sizes of strips starting from one inch all the way to six and a half inches. I'll turn it so you can read it. Okay, this particular die only has one section of five inches, okay? So I measured from here to here five inches at a quarter of an inch on either side and just rough cut width of fabric five and a half inches, okay? I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make squares. These lines here are for later. All right, let me show you how to cut perfect strips because sometimes I feel like quilters have a hard time knowing how to do that, okay? There are no blades on either end of this die. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fold, okay? And I'm gonna make sure my fold is parallel to this black line, okay? Christina, what happens if my fold is a little bit wonky? Oh, you get elbows. You get elbows, yeah, which nobody <laughs> wants. Okay, so there we go. What um, size strip is our most popular strip, Christina? Two and a half, for sure. Two and a half, for sure, because what do you make with two and a half inch strips? Binding. Binding, border, sashing, okay. All right, so now I could put six layers of cotton if I was using my two and a half inch strip die, and I could, um, cut enough binding for a queen size quilt in one pass. Okay, so I'm gonna show you something down here in the other end. So the other end here has no blades either. But look, some of my little salvage is hanging over the edge. So watch what I'm gonna do. Because we're gonna cut off our salvage anyway. It's the only time I let you use a rotary cutter. Because otherwise there's a die for that. <laughs> All right? So here we go. So now it's gonna cut my strips perfectly. So I'm gonna use a 10 by 24 cutting mat. So Christina, how much is this three, uh, this five inch strip die? Cause um, boy, if you wanted to make charm squares. Oh, the five inch strip die, I'll have to look. Yeah, yeah, here, hold on. But he's for sure 25% off. It is. Okay, I have such a mess over here. I just started and I have such a mess, <laughs> look at that. Okay, here we go. It's like quilting, ta-da. Okay, while this goes through, don't forget to share because we're giving away the orange peel dye. Okay, and then join us at 12 noon central time on Tuesday, April 13th as for our invitation event. We're going to celebrate Earth Day and Mother's Day. Lynn and Erica and I are giving you ideas on how to upcycle, right, and recycle quilters. We're the epitome of upcyclers to make some really fun projects. Uh, the registration link's in the comments below. Christina, why do they want to register? Because that's how we pick our winners. That's how we pick our winners and give stuff away. Also, I did find out that strip die is $22 off, so it's only 67 bucks. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. This is a die I use quite often. Okay, so now, here we go. So now I've cut perfect strips. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my perfect strip. In the AccuQuilt world, we call this fan folding, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it right here at 90 degrees. And the trick is you want the fold to go past the blades. So right here are the blades where my fingernails are. So I'm just gonna fan fold back and forth. How many layers can I do, Christina? Six. Six of cotton. Okay, it is so staticky in here, holy smokes. <laughs> It's just sticking to me here. Here we go, so we're gonna go back and forth. Now, are you gonna worry about this little tail right here? No. No, you're not. How come? Because there's no blades in the cutter. No blades. So some of you are gonna say to me, um, hey Pam Heller, I could have done that with my rotary cutter, but I'm gonna show you a slicker trick. Do you hear all this stuff over there? Listen, <laughs> past this point, actually it's pretty tidy in here today. It's just me that's making a mess. A few months ago, it was not tidy. Oh, thanks to <laughs> Leslie and Lauren who've cleaned it. Okay, so now here's what I'm gonna do because I wanna continue with my strips. <gasps> this is the slickest trick, okay? So I'm gonna bring my ruler here and line it up, the black lines on the blades. So now what, how, what degree is this? 90 degrees, okay? 
So watch this. Ooh, I love someone this. Someone unlocked a memory in my head. They said orange cinnamon rolls. Oh, hands down, that's uh, what we should have had. I forgot Dog, all about those. I make great cinnamon rolls. We need to have that. I'm gonna start at stop at the grocery store and get some of those <laughs> on the way home. Okay, the day we talked about chili, uh, you and Chelsea both stopped at, and got chili on the way home, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so then you could go all the way down the die board. <gasps> so use your little ruler, okay? Put my mat on top. Thank you, Mike, for cleaning up after me. He's over there trying to fix things because I keep breaking them. Ooh, okay, here KJ, we go. KJ says that their favorite orange is orange fabric. Oh, Sneaky. that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. This is the only way I cut squares. Just so all of you know, like if I needed to cut three and a half inch squares, I would use the three and a half inch strip die and so forth. Okay, give it love because static is built up. It is so staticky in here. Okay. And then <gasps> look, ta-da for days. There are squares for days and they're perfect squares. Unlike the squares you cut with a rotary cutter. <laughs> okay. So to build the, um, the block behind Christina, we're just gonna lay one out. We're not gonna sew this one together. We have some other ones to sew together. We have sewing today. Okay, so now um, we just need those orange peels, right? And they're just white. So here's what I've done. I've just rough cut a five inch piece of fabric. Okay, and I already pre-fused it. So now I'm just gonna go back and forth. Actually, I'm gonna show you the super cool trick. While I'm showing you tricks. Okay, pre-fuse the fabric, you have to count the fusible as a half a layer of fabric, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you could do four layers of pre-fused. Okay, so watch. I'm gonna run this through. Remember, you can use this die in all of your uh, cutters. Okay, give it some love. Slide, don't lift. Look at this. Okay, now look. I'm just gonna slide it. So you could have a whole stack of them on here. Okay, and are we worried about this tail, Christina? No. We are not, okay? Now, don't forget AccuQuilt has my great little shovel iron right here. And we have a wool pressing mat because we're gonna need it here in a minute. But we have the pressing iron and then the wool mat and then did you know we have fusible, Christina? We have soft fuse. I didn't know that until you asked me to make a graphic for you. Yes, we do on our website. So all of your applique needs are in one place. It's called AccuQuilt.com. So add them to your cart, um, the, the iron, the mat, and the fusible, and then all, everything you need. And then throw in that flamingo, and then it will ship free. Now the mat and the soft fuse and the... Um, iron are not discounted today. Correct, it's only but, dyes and cubes. But if you add them to their cart and you get that flamingo in there, it'll ship for free. Ship for free. Ooh, there's a question from Corinne. Hi, Corinne. Um, she says, does the fusible go on top or the bottom close to the die? Um, I always put it on the bottom. So like it's facing the die or it's facing the mat? It's facing, so here's the fusible side. Okay. I don't know, what do you think? I don't think it matters too much. I don't think so. I think it'll be okay. the same. So look at this. So that's how you do it. So you do four layers and you just cut orange peels for days. Look how fun that was. Okay. Ta-da! There we go. I know, I think that's fun. Now, you have several different options to use your, uh, for embroidery. Mm -hmm. If you have an embroidery machine, you can download our free embroidery files at AccuQuilt.com. We have a blanket stitch a satin stitch and a motif stitch, or you could use a decorative stitch from your machine, which I'm gonna show you in just a few minutes. You could do Raj quilting if mm -hmm. you don't have one of those, right? Quilters, if you want a chance to be featured in our intro video, be sure and share your image of your completed quilt or project. You can send us a private message here on Facebook, or you can just repost it to our page, right? Yep. We'd love okay. to see your orange peel quilts too. I've seen a lot of folks saying that they have this die, so yes. I'd love to see that. And remember quilters, all of our AccuQuilt live events live on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. So you can go back and watch Christina and I for days. Right, <laughs> years we've been doing it yes. that we've posted we're on it. two years now. We're much better. 
now than we were when we, we were great when we started. Now we're really, really yeah. great. And now okay? it looks good. We have tips and tricks. Okay. So now look at this. So then if you were going to do the opposite, okay. So here's my charm squares. All right. So the opposite, um, I'm going to use charm squares for my orange peels. Okay, because do you have some of those in your stash? Yep. And then um, I'm going to add the five, I just, I'm going to use shape number one from the nine inch cube, which is a five inch square. So I did the exact same thing. I just rough cut with the fabric five and a half inches. Okay. And the reason I'm going to use my go big is I'm going to show you right now. Hold on. All right. So I'm going to fan fold back and forth, six layers. Okay. There was a great question from Lauren. Hi, Lauren. She says, can you fan fold the fused fabric? You can. Um, here's what I found. When I fan folded it, I kind of wasted some fabric. Sure. So I try to just do what I did, where I just Stuck cut and it. slide, cut mm -hmm. and slide. Okay? So charm squares, I've just um, added that fusible. So I can do four layers of pre-fused. Joe picked our colors today. Good job, Joe. And just for super clarity, there's some folks asking about that orange peel dye. It is an applique dye, correct? It is an applique so dye. It is not a pieced to, yeah, dye. Yeah, it's not meant to be pieced somewhere else. It's no. meant to just kind of set on top. Yes. Yes. Which is the only way I would ever make no, orange so, peels. It'd be so hard to sew them together. Right. I feel like it's, yeah, curved pieces. Yeah. I no, this know. is the way to do it. I've still never oh. sewn a curve, so I don't know. Listen, you and I, we got to spend some time in this dream <laughs> studio now that it's clean. So I've kind of tucked my fabric up next to my die because I have six layers on it. No blades inside, just rollers. And once I pre-fused my fabric, I don't have to worry about lengthwise grain. And I'm using my Go Big because now I can run two dies through in one pass. Ooh, Carol says that her mother used to make orangeade instead of lemonade. Okay, that sounds refreshing. Yeah, that feels like a very like European or Southern thing. I'm still down for orange cinnamon rolls. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> right I'm gonna now. have to make some of those today. Or an orange Julius, like Rebecca said. Oh, orange Julius, do they still have those in the they world? They do, there's still some, there's that, um, oh gosh, that Dairy Queen in like Papillion. Yes. The one in like the big barn, they're still an orange Julius. Do they? Mm -hmm. I love that. They're so nice there too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, did they know your name, Christina? I always order Tim's birthday cake from there, an oh. ice cream cake. So yes. every year I'm like, hello. Hello. And it was last kind. week, Tim's birthday. It was, yes. Okay. All right, so now look at this. Ta-da. Now I've cut all of my orange peels. So look how different it looks. A colorway is so cool. We have this free program at AccuQuilt.com called Go Quilt. It's all about how to help you do different colorways. So, look at how fun that is. So you can make the backgrounds the same and the orange pills different, or you can just do the opposite, okay? So quilters ask me all the time, why is AccuQuilt better than rotary cutting? Can you imagine, Christina, trying to cut orange pills by hand? No. You would have to have a template. I would never. No, you would not. <laughs> you have to have a template, and then you would have to trace it, and it would just be a mess. Our blog is a, space, a place to find inspiration to tutorials. Check out our blog. Okay, we learned this just a month ago. There are patterns on our blog that are not available on our website. So check out our patterns and sewing tips. Um, you can meet our go-getters. What are go-getters, Christina? Oh, they're like our influencers. They write some patterns. They make yep. blogs. They love our stuff and talk about it all the time. They just do. They do. And so you can um, set, uh, sign up to get alerts about our blog, right? Mm -hmm. The lovely Erica writes them. She does a great job. Yep. You can get a notification, either like a summary at the end of the week or something like that, or instantly. So as soon as a blog comes out, you'll get an email. There you go. That's what we need. All right. You ready? We're going to make some more. All right. Now, um, here's my tip of the day. This is a block I'm going to show you in just a few minutes, but here's my tip. If you're gonna use our free embroidery files, so this is one that I used for the motif stitch, you want to embroider your pieces first Ooh. before you sew them together. Because trying to line it up in the, in the embroidery machine was a little tough. Oh, I bet. Yeah, okay. And then follow the pattern to sew your blocks together. 
all right? But this is such a great die. You could totally just make a table runner. You could make pillows. You could do all sorts of fun things, okay? So that's my pro tip, um, embroider first. Don't forget to join us at 12 noon Central Time on Tuesday, April 13th for our next invitation event. Do you know they come every Tuesday now? Mm -hmm. Tuesday, Wednesdays. This is 12 noon Central Time. This is where you should be. And uh, uh, Lynn and Eric and I are talking about Earth Day and Mother's Day and giving you ideas on how to upcycle and make some really fun projects. All right, so now here is another idea. Here's what you should do. There's this thing called the internet. You broke it all yesterday, but it's up and running now. Um, this is a cool block. So what you do is go to the internet and you put in orange peel quilt blocks and all of these great images show up, okay? So this is one that um, I'm gonna show you how to do. This is, um, you're gonna make a square and a square or you know, square and point, all right? So um, I need, Okay, there is just like dirt all over my <laughs> mat here. Holy smokes. Chelsea, are you responsible for that? All right. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create two big half square triangles, okay? And then we're gonna sew them together to make that square and point block. And then we're gonna cut um, pink flowers. Okay, so here's my pro tip. If you're gonna cut these pieces together, you should totally sew them together, okay? So I'm gonna measure here and here with my little ruler. Ooh, Christina, that, what are people eating? Well, first, before we do that, um, Tina says that you could use the orange peel as a surfboard. So like for the flamingo. That is brilliant. It's so cute. Please make that. And we have the, the summer medley, right? Yes that has other shapes, okay? Um, so a couple of folks are asking about the order. So you're embroidering before you iron on the block? Only if I'm doing the embroidery, okay. yes. If I'm doing like free motion quilting or rage quilting or all over quilting, no. But if you're using our free embroidery files, I'm gonna tell you to use that embroidery file first and then sew your four blocks together. Okay, okay. so the question you should always ask yourself is, Am I going to sew these pieces together? And if the answer is yes, you are, then my solution to that is, then you should totally cut your pieces together. So for this, I need um, four of the white and four of the green, okay? So I just rough cut my fabric. I'm going to fan fold back and forth, two, four, okay? Ooh, and our, when my fabric gets like this big, Christina, mm -hmm. I just kind of cut it off, okay? Because this was scraps that I used. I'm super excited about it. Yes, you had a question. Um, Roxanne says you could put the surfboard in the pickup. So cute. That is so cute. They're geniuses. And I feel like then you could be going to the beach where there are flamingos. Mm -hmm. And fish. You should, and have you not ever seen flamingo pool toys? Yeah, All always. the time. All the time. Oh, I'll tell you at the end, it's a secret. Well, it won't be in a minute, but it will be then. Okay, so here's my half score triangles. Here's my surfboards. You guys are so clever, okay? We have such a fun fact about flamingos. All right, all right, here we go. So again, I'm cutting half score triangles and orange peels because I have the go big, I can run two dice through in one pass. Sometimes, Christina, mm -hmm. it does that because you're trying to push it and it makes it mad, okay? So don't do that. Sometimes I get so excited that I can cut two that I forget. You forget to cut two? Yes, <laughs> yes. All right, hold on here. Oh, we've got a totally different side from Kate. She says that she slow cooks duck in a crock pot or a Dutch oven stuffed with orange peels. It's very what? tender and tastes amazing. Like an what? Duck. Okay, look what I did here, quilters. Okay, I was totally not watching what I did, and I didn't put my mat on right, so look at this. See, it didn't cut all the pieces. Christina, what happens if you don't have a mat? Nothing, not a thing. Nothing. All right, so let's do this again here. <laughs> let's do this and not talk so much about it. Hold on. All right, here we go. I love that. Orange duck, I've mm -hmm. never had it. Have you? Mm -mm. 
I think that's a pretty common, like orange chicken is really good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do orange chicken. Okay. I don't know if I've ever actually even had duck. Only the duck, duck, goose game, right? <laughs> okay. All right, quilters, this is why you have to pay attention. Okay, so now I'm going to cut my half square triangles. Okay. I promise you when I'm home sewing, it all works great. <laughs> it's just here when I'm trying to talk, okay? So now sometimes you get a one little thread. I'm gonna tell you quilters, do not just pull that thread because then the whole thing just falls apart yeah, on you. Yeah, I had to learn that the hard way okay? too. Yep, so let's do this. Let's just lay out a little block right here. Just a little corner. Okay, look at this. I love half square triangles. <laughs> One day we did a whole show on half square triangles. It was the happiest I'd ever been at AccuQuilt. <laughs> that when they released the pickup truck, right? So then I would have my other two half square triangle shapes over here, okay? Which I didn't cut correctly because I was talking. Oh, but hey, I can do this, watch. Uh, Christina, tell us what else people are eating. Um, Kathy says an orange, gosh, an orange crescent candy. I don't know what that I is. I don't know what that is. Sounds delightful though. It sounds lovely. Laura says her mother-in-law used to make a special drink she called orange lemon. Uh, she would serve it to the farm hands at lunch. It was just water with orange juice and lemon juice, but it was super refreshing. Joe has a special <laughs> drink that he drinks with oranges. <laughs> it's called orange beer. Someone said a screwdriver earlier was their favorite orange. Oh yeah, treat. yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Morgan okay. says that she mixes uh, uh, vodka with orange juice and champagne. <laughs> There we go. Might as well go big. Go big or go home. Okay, so you would sew your pieces together, right? To create that square on point block. Look how fun that is, all right? So now, while we're talking about color, I wanna show you this funny thing I did yesterday. <laughs> okay, um, so think about this. You could use your cube to create a two color patch. Okay, so see the little graphic right there? Um, so, okay, I was watching basketball, okay? That's my first defense, okay? So do you see this block? Do you want me to hold it up, Chelsea? Okay, do you see this block? Christine, what does this look like? Oh, it looks like a color blindness. Test. Yes, if you can't see the green, call your doctor, okay? Because that means you're colorblind, right? If you can't see the green. Um, okay, I had two fabrics that were the same colors or the same design in different colors. And I was like, sweet, so I'm just <laughs> cutting and sewing and cutting and sewing. And then I made the block and I was like, that is horrible. <laughs> so this is why we lay blocks out. <laughs> it was. Christina, tell us about why you laid your blocks out. Oh, cause then you don't sew them wrong. Which is what you did yesterday. I did do that yesterday. I asked Pam if I could like rage quit a quilt. Just yes. end it be done just be done <laughs> and of course it was the last one I sewed of course of course okay so now here is the block you should make there we go okay so now I've used two different colors um they were the same pattern which I think is super cute okay so this is just a real quick I'm going to show you while Christina tells us all the good things um I'm just going to go do a little zigzag around this so you can see because you don't have to use the um applique um, embroidery files, you can just use a zigzag stitch from your machine. Okay. Okay, Christina, tell us what people are drinking or eating that's orange. <laughs> um, I've seen a lot of um, like the chocolate and orange ones. Yeah, because you all hate me. That's been a big one. Um, let's see. Uh, Patricia says orange creamsicle ice cream or yogurt. I like creamsicles. That'd be good. Um, I Cindy could do that. says Schwann's makes an orange sherbet and vanilla ice cream combo. Oh, get the Schwann's man here. That'd I be bet good. the Schwann's man has cinnamon rolls. I bet he sure does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're thinking now. Let's see. Uh, Charlotte says orange sherbet in a sugar cone drizzled with chocolate. Oh, it was good until she said the drizzle of chocolate. <laughs> I got to try that maybe. Maybe because the vanilla will make it not. I just feel like it's so sweet. Yeah, I think that's why a lot of folks do dark chocolate. Yeah. Okay, so look how I'm doing this. I'm just going around the orange peels. 
I'm wearing my little socks that Vivian made because it is so cold here in the Dream Studio. Um, poor Chelsea's over there in her like winter coat. <laughs> Hold on here. I just want to go one more stitch. Okay. There we go. Ooh, Bonnie says salmon with an orange glaze. Okay, salmon. I'm hands down for that. <laughs> Absolutely. Sam, can I tell you, I don't know if I've ever had salmon. Ever in your whole life? Besides like maybe in a sushi roll. But like oh. grilled salmon, I don't think I've ever had. <laughs> so, okay, I'm just appalled by that. I grew up in Seattle where um, like when I was a kid, because um, I'm pretty old, we would go down to the docks mm -hmm. in Seattle and we would go to the boats that just came in from the fishing boats. And my dad would get a whole huge big salmon. And they would clean it and gut it and, you know, all that kind of stuff for okay. it. And I'm so excited to talk about salmon. I'm not watching what I'm doing here. And um, then my dad would bring it home and put it on a grill with, like, butter and capers and grill it until it just fell apart and it was delicious. Okay. Hands down my favorite orange food. <laughs> and cinnamon rolls. Okay, so Chelsea, you wanna get a really good look at this? Okay, so look, see, if you weren't talking about orange things, you could just stitch around it like that. And then just do the other side. So this is such a super fast project. Oh, here, I'll hold it up again. So, so Jagger doesn't give us a hard time about our camera shots. Hi, Jagger. He's <laughs> home on spring break. All right. All right, last, I'm gonna show you. I'm a huge modern quilt fan. Huge, huge, huge. And um, so I truly just took some scraps. So here's black and white backgrounds. Oh, I love this fabric. This was in um, a quilt that I made for my nephew, Kaysen. Okay? All right, so this is one that I'm going to do, um, I'm going to use our free embroidery files for. So look, truly, when we talk about quilters, are the epitome of upcyclers and scrap busters? This is why, okay? So I'm gonna take, I pre-fused my fabric so I can use four layers. Christina, I feel like we should go have salmon. Okay. Okay. Leslie's offering to make me salmon. Leslie, make it for me. <laughs> um, we have a comment from Vicki that she says, her favorite is orange jello with shredded carrots. Okay, that is like my grandma food. Yeah. When, not me being a grandma, but my grandma, that's what she made. That. Orange, uh, yeah, Jello had to have other things in it. Like, um, it would have pineapple, like green with pineapple. Which, in like, it. that I understand. Like, I understand, like, yeah. the marshmallows, the fruits, but carrots is a little off center for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All, the, all, all of you just should see the look of the crew here in the Dream Studio. <laughs> Everybody's going, no, no, no. Okay, so look at how cool this is. All right, so I use black and white backgrounds, and then I just totally cut up my scraps. Think outside the box, think color. I think when I think about orange peel, I think it should be colorful, okay? All right, now, before I talk about the last thing, I'm gonna show you this cool trick. So here are some scraps, right, um, that I have from our orange peels. So this is um, the Owl Accessories mm -hmm. die, okay? Who's it, also on sale. Which is how much, do you know? 26 bucks. 26 bucks. And then you never have to cut a heart again. Never. And a flower. And it has little stems. And um, this is for the base of our owl. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little scrap pieces. Because in a couple of weeks, um, I have a project that we're going to make. I know you find that hard to believe. Um, <laughs> for Arbor Day. Did you know Arbor Day started in Nebraska? I do know that. Yeah, we're pretty proud of that here in Nebraska. Okay, so watch this. So these are the ends of my orange peels. Okay, and I'm very carefully, because unlike my half square triangles, I can't believe I cut those wrong. So what happens when you don't pay attention? Oh, there's a good comment from Joan, too. Hi, Joan. She says the orange peel would make a great bunny ears for that basket you made last week or the week before. Okay, I wasn't watching what I was doing. <laughs> Hold on here. 
Okay, here's some flowers. There we go. Oh, that one's a half a flower. Here, hold on. It's okay. We have another side. I was listening to what Joan was saying. Now, what? Um, she said you could use the orange peel to make bunny ears for that <gasps> hexy basket we made. Bunny ears. That's a great yeah. idea. So while Easter's over, you could get a start while it's on sale and get yes. your basket made for next year. I feel year. like bunnies can be for spring. I think so, too. Okay, now, look. Now I'm going to really pay attention. Okay? <laughs> so, I'm going to hold it till it catches. All right, now I can make flowers. Oh, so no. now look at all these pretty little flowers that I have that I'm gonna use for our project here in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna save these, because look, you can hide them. Okay. There we go. All right, so if you're buying stuff today at 25% off, I'm gonna tell you get the orange peel dye, the um, owl accessories dye, and the nine inch cube. Mm -hmm. Then, those are all 25% off? Yep. Right? Then throw in the flamingo dye bundle and the whole thing will ship free. Yes. As long as you're in those contiguous United States. As long as you're in the contiguous. You. If, if someone is not social, the state next to you is not social distancing, you're contiguous. Okay? All right. Here's my last thing. So last week, Carol M. showed us how she made snowballs. Those were super cute, they and were. she embroidered them. And I was like, dang, how does that work? So um, I had six days to figure it out, and I did. <laughs> okay, so here's what you do. You need six of the orange peel shapes. So I've already sewn four together. Can you see that? Okay, look at this. I don't care about the seams, and I totally just used scraps. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to come to your little sewing machine and you're going to put right sides together. Okay, so I'm going to sew this one and then I'm going to show, show you what to do for the, the last one. Okay. And while you do that, we have one more orange recipe. Okay, tell us. Okay, so it's a comment oh. from YouTube. She says it's cheese jello. She okay, says I'm pretty sure I can't do this. She says Already. orange jello with cheese and other stuff. It sounds bad, but it's really good. Okay, I, I don't believe you. I have questions. Okay. <laughs> I'm going for salmon and cinnamon orange rolls. <laughs> and apparently we're having mimosas with all sorts of alcohol in it. <laughs> okay. All right, hold on. Okay, so when you're sewing the balls, just stop where the seam from, bef from the, so right here, so I sewed the seam, so stop here, okay? And you're almost ready. Here we go. We're gonna do this one, and then I'm gonna show you how to finish it off. Because you're gonna use that batting that's all fluffy. I didn't have any of that polyester batting, um, but that's what you're gonna use. It comes in bags. It's not um, batting that you would use in a quilt, but batting that you would use in projects. Like yeah, we kind of like little cotton balls. Little yeah, balls. we filled pin cushions with them, okay? So, Christina, did you have a favorite use of the orange peel dye today? Did, which was your favorite oh, project? Oh, I don't know. That's really hard. I really love this quilt behind me. It's one of my favorites. Yes. So I think probably that, like, negative space is really my favorite. I do like the negative space. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Although, I don't know. These little fabric balls might be really cute. I feel like, I okay, to be honest, I thought I should make a whole bunch of them. We could throw them at each other, but then there would be war. There's so much equipment in here. There is. And I somebody like would I be. I feel Mike panicking that something's going to Yeah, I could just see the look on Joe's face already like, what? <laughs> what? Okay, so now look, I'm going to put a pin in here in honor of Erica. I have one. I, whew, I have two. Look at that. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to start here because you want to leave an opening so that you can turn your snowballs in and out. Okay? And don't forget, today you're going to take 25% off. Yes, that orange peel is only $22. Oh, my gosh. 25% off Go Dyes and Cubes. You're going to use that code BLOOM25, B-L-O-O-M-25. Okay, at checkout. Um, if you throw in the Flamingo bundle, um, your order will ship free. Yes. Okay. they're shipping about the end of April or so. Yep, there's, yep they are. They're okay. not hatched just yet. They're not. Okay, so ready? Watch. I thought this was brilliant. Good job, Carol, for showing it to us. Okay. 
All right. Here we go. So what a great way to bust up your scraps. Okay? So you would fill it with um, that polyester batting, right? Mm -hmm. And then we left a little opening, and then you just hand stitch it closed. So look at how cute that is. It would just be a fun little, a little ball. I'm going to totally fill it and give it to Oakley. See who she throws it at. <laughs> I think okay. it'll be you. Yeah, probably. Or poor Pearl. Maybe I won't. Oh, you can All make right. toys for Pearl. Oh, yes, Little Pearl would like that. <laughs> okay, there, we'll do that for Pearl. All right, Morgan has picked a winner. Christina, do you want to announce it? Can we Ooh. have a drum roll, yes. please? All right. Our winner is Janie Shepard. Janie Shepard, congratulations. Thanks for watching with us today. We're excited. Uh, Morgan is going to reach out to you, and we're going to ship you an orange peel die. Okay, this is what we're going to talk about next week on Wednesday. Look at this cute little pillow. Okay, this is called the Flamingo um, Love Pillow. So the, sh the pieces you need to make it are the Flamingo die and the 12 inch cube and the three and a half inch strip die. So Christina did some math on the 12 inch cube and the three and a half mm -hmm. inch strip die. How much is it with that 25% off? So the three and a half inch strip die is $22 off. So it's $67. Okay. And then the cube is $70 off. Oh, so it's only 210. Get that 12 inch cube. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then throw in the Flamingo die bundle and the whole thing will ship free. Yep. Okay, so this is called Waiting Pool Love Pillow. Okay, next week on Wednesday, for sure you want to join us well because we're talking about flamingos. But we at AccuQuilt adopted a flamingo from the Henry <laughs> Dorley Zoo. If you come to Omaha, you need to go to the zoo. We have a world class zoo. It's the best. Okay, it is truly the best. Thank you. Chelsea's giving us our little flamingo, okay? Now, our flamingo is not hatched yet. It is still an egg. Mm -hmm. So we do not know if it is a boy flamingo or a girl flamingo, okay? But next week on Wednesday, we're going to ask you to name our flamingo. Yep. And then we're going to choose the winner. And whoever names our flamingo, well, first of all, you get total bragging rights because you named our flamingo. <laughs> we're going to send you our little flamingo yeah. from the zoo. I know, isn't that fun? I love so, it. Woo -hoo! Oh. I can't wait to see the flamingo. I know, we're gonna go. I think you and I should go okay. and take pictures yep. of the zoo Yep. when you, they hatch. We could do a Facebook Live from the zoo. Let's go. <laughs> all, you should have seen all the look of all these people. They're like, oh my god. There was gosh. like a mix of panic and excitement. Yeah, like. there was like, Joe was like, how are we gonna get there? And Chelsea's like, I got a camera. It's all good. All right, quilters, on behalf of our entire AccuQuilt Live team. So we have Nick upstairs. We have Katie and Morgan and Leslie who are offsite. Here in the Dream Studio with me, I have Mike and Chelsea and Chelsea C. And I have Nick and, of course, my good friend that's Christina. Joe. That's Joe. That's not Nick. That's Joe. A Joe. Did I call him Nick? You said Nick. His last name, I can't tell you. <laughs> it, it starts like with Nick. Because <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, you'll know who he is and you'll send him messages. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it has been such a long day. So Joe is here. Thank you for correcting me. Mm -hmm. Joe is here. Um, and I am Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Have a great day, quilters.